Hi, family. How is everyone doing out there? You know, I hope you're all doing good. I know we're in different times. We're in a new world, and we're all learning how to function in this world. Um, every day is different. Every day we learn something else. And, you know, I want to encourage everyone to turn to Jesus during these times, all the time. Let him be your strong tower. Turn to the word. That is something that's always constant and never changes. You know, the, the word is powerful. And when we read it, when we turn to God and his word, he starts healing those wounds in us and fears and anxiety or depression. And, um, you know, we're not to be anxious and we're not to have fear because fear is not from God. It's from the enemy. And so when we have fear, we're listening to the wrong voice. So I want to um, read Psalm 121. And then um, God kind of gave me a little bit from that. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keeps thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you day by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and evermore. How powerful those words are. And I just want to go over it. You know, it's like, do we know what, that our help comes from the Lord? Do we believe his word? You know, his, his word says, David said, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from where my help comes. You know, we're to look at that help from the Lord. He brings help to us. You know, God it says here, my help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Think about that. God made heaven and earth. That is so powerful and amazing. If he can make heaven and earth, can't he help you? You know, we're, we're a little dust, a little flake in this whole world. And of course, if he can make heaven and earth, you know, he will help us. It says, he will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keeps thee will not slumber. It means he doesn't sleep. He will keep us always. He's constantly keeping us. Behold, he that keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. So it's like, while he's awake, you know, we're sleeping at night, or we have blinders on, and even though we're sleeping or have blinders on, he will not sleep. He's constantly keeping us. You know, the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. He's your shade. He's your comforter. He's your keeper. He's never sleeping. He's always working. And he says, the sun shall not smite you day by day, nor the moon by night. And I looked up smite for the word in the Strong's Concordance. And to smite means to strike or wound or inflict. So it says, the sun shall not strike you or wound you or inflict you day by day or the moon by night. See, it's either cold or night. It's cold at night, hot during the day. So any inconvenience will not be able to destroy you because you're God's child. 
and the Lord shall preserve you from all evil, you know, of your coming and going. And preserve is to guard you. So the Lord shall guard you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. You know, how amazing is that? That while we're sleeping or we have blinders on, he's preserving your soul because you're his child. You know, he doesn't want us to run around in fear and anxiety. If he's made heaven and earth and he's in control of everything and he's on the throne, he's got you. He's not going to let you go. You know, he shall preserve your coming and your going from this time forth and evermore, forevermore. You know, so during these uncertain times, you know, the world's in a chaotic mess. Most of them. God's children shouldn't be. You know, his word has told us about these times. We should be prepared. You know, um, if we believe in him and we believe in his word, then we, sh we shouldn't have fear. We've got to learn how to rebuke that fear in Jesus' name. Let him be your keeper. You know, the Bible says that we're to walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes we got to close our, our eyes and forget everything that's going on around us. And look to the one who keeps us constantly. Let his word live within you. You know, we're to, we're to read the word, to eat the word. You know, that's our food. If we're not feeling our, our soul up with the food, we allow emptiness to be in there. Things that of the world gets into us. You know? And this isn't God's world. It's the enemy's world. We don't want those things to be within us. You know, God, did, you know, God has stopped everything. All the idols that we've had. You know, movies and, and t television and sports and all that. He's, he's stopping that. And it's like, it's time to take in God and the truth that he gives us through his son, Jesus. So I encourage all of you, please open the Bible. Let his word just be within you. And know that he's your keeper. He doesn't sleep. He never slumbers. And he's got you. He, you're, you're under his feathers and under his wings. You know, put your trust and faith in him. Give him your fear. Give him your anxiety. Give him your depression. Exchange it at the cross. I hope um, this helps somebody today. Um, if anyone needs prayer or has a great testimony to share, please leave a comment. Um, and I pray that you all have a blessed day. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. God bless you. Bye.